in this video, I just want to share how I use the new Lightroom lens flares. And so I am in Photoshop right now because just because I, I spend most of my time in Photoshop and I do a lot of my editing now in ACR, which is Adobe Camera Raw, just because it helps speed up some of the editing process. So um, now whatever I'm doing in here, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Camera Raw filter in Photoshop, but the presets like I'm doing in here, you can do exactly in Lightroom as well. And you want to make sure that you do have the current version of Lightroom that does the XMP files because, because this set is only available with the XMP files. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and find right here. All right, so this is the creative editing. This is light and lens flare. So we've got a lot of lens flare effects. And the cool thing about these is you can actually combine them too. So if you like one, you can combine it with another after you click on it. So these can be stacked on top of each other as well. And one thing too, when you are looking for the lens flares, you wanna make sure that it kind of complements with the light that is already there in the image. So like this one right here, you would want to make sure that the light source is coming more towards the middle. This is just a nice little ring flare we can add in there. So I'm just kind of going through so that way you can kind of get an idea what is in here. I do like this one, so I'm going to keep that one in there. And here's some light leak effects. And some more. These are more for on the portrait side. All right, so now I'm going to go back up. And now I want to show you what, like if there's a super, super bright one, how to kind of adjust that. So I'm going to go ahead and pick lens flare 14. And now I'm going to pick lens flare 16. And if I want to adjust it, like if it's just too bright for me, I want to bring it down a little bit. Just go to your mask option right here. Click on that and it's going to take you to all of those little brushes that were made. So you can kind of, if you hide, just kind of hover over it, it's going to highlight the area. So like this one right here, let's go ahead and click on that. Let's see, we've got that, I've got the brush right there. You can actually just bring down the exposure of it right there. That's the overall radial. Again, you can bring that down, bring it up if you want it brighter. So you can definitely make adjustments to kind of make it suit what you're wanting for the overall image. Like this one, I'm kind of bringing back some of that stuff that I took out just because it's enhancing the flare right there. And I'm going to go ahead overall, bring that down just a little bit more on the exposure. And then you can see before and after. Again, you don't have to go as crazy like adding two different flares. So let's just go ahead, go back to our lens flares and we can just do, I actually really like that one right there. So that's number 10. And then you can actually mix it with 14 as well. I'm going to go back to 10, go to my mask and kind of see all of the little lights that you can kind of just play with, bring that down just a little bit because it was a kind of bright and there, nice little before and after. Now, another thing I did include was the tilt shift, just a couple of these to play with. So here's just a few different effects. I go for tilt shift number five. 
and then we've got the before and after. So again, these are super fun. I use them quite a bit in my workflow now just because I love light and I love light effects and lens flares and everything. So I hope you enjoy these. And if you have a question, go ahead and just comment below and I will try to help. Thanks so much.